So uh, I just want to show you this screen because it's just kind of a like little mind blowing kind of look in the in the how the way politics works. Um, anybody know who Isaac Carruthers is? Anybody? Okay, who's Isaac Carruthers? Uh, he's uh, didn't he get convicted of something? He was already previously an elected official, right? Right. Right. So Isaac Carruthers was an alderman. Um, he got out of uh, federal prison in 2010 um, after serving a stint for uh, extortion and political corruption. Um, and so he was running for, uh, for the pri in the primary for Cook County uh, Commissioner. He didn't win. Um, oh, actually, can you advance again? I actually have a photo of Isaac Carter. So can anybody tell me the amazing... Two more. <coughs> One more. Okay, there we go. There's Ike Carruthers. Um, it's not a great photo, but uh, yeah, convicted ex alderman seeking Cook County Board seat. Um, who can tell me the most amazing thing about Ike Carruthers? Got 22.6%. Well, that, that's amazing too. Um, the really amazing thing about Ike Carruthers. So what Ike Carruthers did is that he basically told a contractor that if they wanted a development project in his ward, they would have to fix his house up for him and do a bunch of work for free for him, just personally. Um, so in 1982 or 83, a man named William Carruthers, then a Chicago alderman, father of Isaac Carruthers, extorted a development company to do improvements on his house and was convicted and spent time in federal jail for it. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, all right, uh, Chris. Uh, so this is a happier story. Um, I, I really highly suggest that you actually watch this video. Um, so this guy, Jerry, Jerry the Iceman Butler, is the longest serving Cook County Board Commissioner. And these were just two people on just that last screen that we were looking at. Um, you know the song, Only the Strong Survive? The old Soul song? Yeah, this guy sang it. Um, the band that Curtis Mayfield or, uh, uh, was in, The Impressions, this guy was actually the first lead singer of The Impressions. Um, you can watch Soul Train videos of him all night, which I actually did last night. <laughs> <laughs> he is awesome. He is, like, I mean, I, politically I can't say, but like, his career as a soul man was awesome. Um, so Jerry and the Iceman Butler, there's a great uh, uh, Chicago Reader article about him. Um, so moving on to actual uh, more election stuff, um, we created a universal widget, uh, just a results widget that uh, tracked the top elections that our editors thought that people would be interested in. We plastered this all over the, the Chicago Tribune website, um, at the top of the homepage, on uh, what are called our trip local pages, as well as at the top of the election center page. Um, uh, one thing to note, it's hard to show mobile views in a presentation like this, um, but one of the mottos on our team is if it doesn't work in mobile, it doesn't work. Um, we don't necessarily do mobile based <coughs> design. Um, we kind of think about it a little more holistically, uh, but if it's broken in mobile, it doesn't work. Um, and so we mobile optimize all these pages using responsive design techniques. Um, <laughs> Alright, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the dynamics of election day um, from a business standpoint and a viewership standpoint. So these are Google Analytics. Um, so, so they're kind of fascinating, right? So, uh, so tick, 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 tick. These are all like, you know, somewhere in like anywhere between like two and five thousand page views a day. Um, which don't even register. Um, all right, so this is the day before the uh, yeah, this is the day before the election. So like eight thousand people came. Oh crap! I need to learn about the election. Um, <laughs> election night. Um, we got about 100, 120 thousand people coming, and then the next day we got a huge, huge volume of people coming to see the results. Um, what was really interesting about this is the profiles of the two days, right? Like most of the traffic is on those two days, as you can see. Boom! And then it falls right off. Um, so, the, so on election night, 
Um, and we know this from more detailed statistics that we collect in our own. We have two analytic systems. Well, actually, we have three. We have Chirpy. We have a thing called Omnichirp. Um, and our team maintains Google Analytics uh, just so that we can see this stuff um, independently. Um, so we had much more detail. We, you know, we, we instrument the, the stuff for our, our internal analytics system much more heavily than we do the Google Analytics. So what we found is that on election night, people viewed about, so we, you know, we're tracking, when you, because, because the ad changes and everything else, we're tracking what you're looking at on the screen, um, what results you're looking at. Um, and so we knew that people uh, spent an average of about 13 minutes on the site, and they looked at about four different races. Um, when they came to the site. Um, the next day, people actually only spent about eight and a half, nine minutes on the site and looked at two races. So it was interesting. So election night, smaller number of people, really high engagement. Like those, like those kind of engagement numbers for the Tribune, I think for any, any media company, are pretty crazy. Like anything, anything over about three minutes in terms of average time. This is awesome. So people were pulling the site up, this is our hypothesis, is that people were pulling the site up and like leaving it. And I actually heard that you guys did that actually here at OpenGov Hackman at a certain point. We just projected the results page, right? Yeah, yeah so, um, and we got a lot of reports of that. And that's, that's an interesting thing too, because that's pretty hard to quantify, right? It's like a whole room of people looking at your results. <laughs> um, yeah, so this profile, this profile we find to be really interesting. Um, we're not really sure necessarily yet how we're going to draw on that in the next election, but we certainly want to start teasing out kind of that engagement profile, particularly that election night high engagement. People are looking, people are projecting it. You know, um, the, that that is a really, really, really golden opportunity as a newspaper to kind of make your case um, to your audience that. You're relevant, and that they should be checking you out, um, and also to try to make a little a little revenue while you're at. Um, 